This video is sponsored by PellucidFX.com. Hi, this is Saev Moten with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the ForexPisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Ok, let's shift it to the gold market now. In the gold market we see almost the same picture as on the euro, but here it's even brighter since market is really calling inside of the Friday session. Within the whole week probably market expects the significant numbers on the non-farm payrolls release since this is the major event of the current week and uh, nobody won't take uh, too much risk before taking position of the non-farm payrolls release. Well, this makes me think that in general the price action looks rather bearish because you can see that market has shifted trend bullish with even on the previous week with this candle. Market holds trend bullish but the price action doesn't confirm it. So market stands inside of the coil with the flat range. This is some sort of the uh, bearish dynamic pressure when the trend holds bullish but price action uh, doesn't support it and just stand flat. And from that perspective I probably would expect the downward action rather than the move to the upside. Besides as uh, was announced on the ADP report that this was rather positive and United States economy could create as more as 198,000 new job places uh, on the previous month. So um, particularly maybe by this reason investors still wait and do not take any direction just yet. That's why by the way uh, on the euro currency I also do not trust much and do not want to rely on the splash that was happened that has happened yesterday. It was uh, it looks uh, nice on the intraday charts but compounding all moments together the gold market the existence of the significant targets right below the market on the euro currency I just feel uncomfortable to take in the long position right now and probably the safer choice will be to wait when the non-farm payrolls will be released and um, take a look at the market on the weekend because I think that we will have a lot of time to take the current position and uh, the risk will be much uh, less than currently stands currently. So unfortunately on the gold market it's very few that we could um, add to the previous analysis. Uh, I just want to say that for me this situation looks bearish and um, in current situation it's probably more probable uh, it's, it's possibly more probable that uh, price action will develop to the downside. How deep it will be d difficult to predict. Maybe it will be double bottom pattern as we have said. Uh, but usually when trend has changed to the bullish market should support it by, by some uh, way. If it if market doesn't do this, this means that uh, it's not something is wrong here. And that is uh, probably the opposite move could happen. On the 4 hour time frame we see the same coil. So we can see that is the weekly pivot point that market hasn't tested yet. That is our yesterday's stop grabber pattern that hasn't been quite completed. So market has formed it but these highs haven't been taken out by the price price action and well I can't exclude that this could happen before the non-farm payrolls release. Since you can see market has made them to move higher stop here, retraced right to the MACD predictor line and took a look, take a look. It's formed one, two, three stop grabbers in a row. This is the bullish stop grabbers that also suggest the taking out of that highs. You know guys that gold market is rather cunning and where your rail left the significant consolidation uh, extreme points without attention. So gold market prefers to grab the stops that have been placed uh, 
least from the one side of the consolidation or better from the both sides of the consolidation. So I can't exclude that probably market will show some splash up, grabbing the stops and touch the weekly pivot point as you already done it. Uh, uh, then if non-farm payrolls release will be really upward surprised, then it could show the really acceleration to the downside and take stops right below these lows as well and continue move lower. Maybe uh, this would be the half step to the create creating of the double bottom pattern on the daily time frame. Mm, until currently, for me, this scenario looks uh, probable. First of all, I don't think I do not see any signs of the upward acceleration, and overall price action looks really bearish. Um, from the technical point of view, the gold market uh, likes to grab the stops. Mm, this this is this happens even more often than just normal behavior without the washing rinses of the, of the significant extreme points. And we have, as you can see, bullish stop grabber side by side, three in a row. That also suggests that probably some splash to the upside could happen right before the non-farm payroll is. That could be some position closing or something of that sort. So be careful with this if you would like to trade the non-farm payroll release with the Peter on the euro currency or on the gold market. Well, be careful, that is really uh, the task to do. But overall situation, I mm, would better uh, treat more as bearish rather than as um, bullish. So, let's see how it will turn. That is our uh, current view on the market. Uh, that being said, that mm, market could show some splash to the upside and grab the stops around the 1590 area. But in general, if non farm payroll risk will be really uh, surprise to the uh, upside as it promised by the ADP. Well, in this case, I probably expect this breakout of this coil to the downside and probably the challenging of these lows.